Blog Talk Radio. All right. Shalom. Shalom. All praises to the Elohim of Abraham, Abram, Isaac, Jacob, our forefathers, our assembly fathers, our founding fathers. So, this evening, as we embark on a yet another journey of self-reflection, self-conviction, and self-correction, we see the nations, the Khazarian Indo-Europeans, coming under great, great, great strain. We see the Israelis being called out for their wretchedness that they have done to a people's land that they say is theirs but is not theirs. These people, the Palestinians, who, mind you, aren't even the real people, but will say the people, the Palestinians, are crying foul of Israel or Israel of the Israeli. And listen, I don't dis I don't dislike anybody. That has nothing to do with anything. All all I'm doing is watching and seeing people's actions. See, for a long time we have been under a strenuous strenuous test. That's why tonight we're talking about the test, the testimony, and the testament. Because what what we have what we're seeing with the Khazarian Indo European and their agents or allies, what we're seeing is capitulation of mentality. This capitulation is being promoted all over the earth. And it's being promoted as the elites, as if the elites are some shadow group who has control over the entire universe, the elites. What we're seeing is a demise of thought, a, a, a increase of debauchery, and... Um, a increase of lies, but yet at the same time we're seeing we're seeing an an uptick in righteousness. We're seeing an uptick in questioning the lies, and that's coming through uh, those uh, who would normally say that they are white. Okay, we're seeing them start to come to the table saying, "Hey." we've been lied to. And, you know, at the same time, they expect us to be like, hey, thanks, yeah, Mm -mm. no, see, because we, (laughs) yeah, 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 okay. You've been lied to, so have we, and we've been telling you this. And, you know, the greatest so-called European-American generation who spawned what they call the baby boomers is the problem. And it's not the and in some there's a there's a there's a percentage of Negro baby boomers who also ate the apple, ate the apple of the system. Because see that's what we're battling. We're not battling these people. These people, again, the father has given a foolish nation over us. So we don't battle fools. We be foolish to battle fools. That's the whole vote. That's the whole politics. That's the see. They keep us in this dire strait of of which way does she go? Which way does she go? Which way does she go? You know. Oh well, lesser the two evils. Lesser two evils. You gotta vote. You gotta vote. Well, each time that we entertain that, we put ourselves in in as complicitness complicit to their schemes, 
to their schemes. So we battle a system, and the system that they have endured over us has become too heavy for them to maintain. That's just the kit and caboodle of it. That's the bottom line. It has become too heavy a burden. It's like a millstone <laughs> wrapped around their neck. And we, listen, I, I, just because I see this doesn't mean that I'm part of it. It doesn't mean that, you know, I, I enjoy it because I don't want to see anybody's demise. But what I do want to see is the system's destruction. I don't want to see its demise. I want to see its utter eradication and destruction off the face of the creator's creation. See, because they have been put through a test, and the whole time that this test, that they've been tested, they thought that they were winning. They thought this test, see, because like Christianity says, that the test that you're going to take it's going to be for everybody. And you can be in a room, you know, back in the day. You could be back in the day for, like, school. Not to say that I did this, but I've seen it. You know, back in the day in a big, in a big, in a school, in a big area when the, when the test was happening, people had cheat sheets. People did all they could do to cheat. So that's what Christianity has taught us, how to cheat, how to say, hey, you know what, just say Jesus and it's all good. Don't worry about that. We're going to take care of it. You'll be all right. It's fine. You won't, you won't fail. If you have any money, we'll take care of it. Don't you worry. See, those things, those, those conceptualizations have become now so heavy based on the burden of the consequences of the actions that was undertook and undertook to, by, against, and for a specific people. That's what everybody keeps failing. They're, you know, all these crackpots and the, these fools talking about, oh, well, everybody, everybody went through slavery. Sorry, son, not everybody went through chattel slavery. You might have become, you, you know, you might have gone through some sort of captivity, but you didn't go through mind, body, spirit, slavery, okay? And that's a trauma that lasted a long time for our people. And the test that we had to, to deal with during that time was the endurance and perseverance. How, how, how long will you endure to the end, Jacob? You see, we, that's the other thing. We have not obtained the right to be Israel. Along with that, we have not obtained the degrees to be an Isra, we are yet still Jacob. Although we know that Jacob said to his father, I am Esau. So we have been in this duality, this dichotomous two minds of Jacob and Esau. So basically, we've been in a confusion of minds, a confusion of faces. And it's okay because it was ordained and destined, prophesied to be this way. Come a time, as we know, as we see, where things will be different. Things will be evident. Things will change. And this is the time, even of Jacob's trouble, but he will be saved out of it. That doesn't mean that everybody's going to be saved out of it, but he will be saved out of it. But the key is you have to save yourself. Kobian, a Jacobian, we have to understand that we have psychologically been in the, in the doldrums, in the cauldrums, in the low lowlifes, the less, lesser of the understanding. And in order for us to come up out of that, to be able to fight, like, you know, Jacob wrestled the angel, right, to become Israel so that his people can become 
an Israelite, so that the purpose given to the people of Yisrael may become manifest to the world. Why? So that we, the Israelites, those that have attained that status, will be able to change the system. See, we all, we all long for the days of righteousness. We all tire of the ignominious madness of the heathen, the Gentile, the Kasari, and Indo-Europeans. We all long for the day of righteousness. And it's interesting because not too long ago, we, we didn't even, we thought, the system was all there was to vote for somebody because the less of the two evils, not understanding that that's the test. When will they recognize that the system is against them? Oh, we knew that, shoot. We, we've been knowing that, yeah. But yet we've been playing the game, right? So we've been saying in order to make the change, we've got to be in the change. That's a, we got to be in the system to make the change. We can't be outside of the system to make the change. See, that's the issue. Yes, we can be outside of the system to make the change. But because because the system has been so delicious and we 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 have chased after the system for such a long time, and literally we've chased, we've been told, you gotta get a degree, gotta get a house, you gotta have a job, you gotta have all these things. So for what? So that you can be what? In debt? To what? Materialism or the system. And this is where, as things have it in this society, in our world, that we watch every day, we start to see how things have changed so drastically, so quickly, so fundamentally. And they can't stop it. These baby boomers, McConnells, and that other woman, all these old cantankerous people who, mind you, are so old in their thought. See, their age is not the issue. It's the thought that's the issue. That coupled with age is a grave demon. If not checked, and controlled. These people do not exercise self-control. They do not understand how their desires have created a debauchery that has demised their entire system. They don't see that. Because to them, it is okay to be this way or that way because that's how it's always been. And now that the Negro, the Jacobian, the Jacobian light is starting to rustle, rustle its feathers, ruffle, ruffle its feathers, stick, you know, um, beginning to stand up, beginning to speak, beginning to have conversations inward and outward righteously, all things have changed. This this church and their founding fathers, it was funny, I was listening to brother, and he said, he said, ain't my church fathers. And that's been the way we've been thinking a long time. Well, that ain't my president. Ain't my governor. And then what do they do? They give us someone that looks like you, me, and then they turn around and say, "Hey, you know, we gave you this." But they, but, but, in thought, in principle, in foundation, in truth, in righteousness, they were not us, and still aren't that has been perpetrated on us to test us, to test our resolve, to test us when we start coming out of it to see where we at, where we are. 
because some brothers and sisters come up out of it and they mad as hell. They, you know what? I want to see you pay. Which you, uh, these are all levels, right? And you know what? That day, they will pay. Rest assured. But that ain't got nothing to do with us. That payment is due. That we are not. We are not the collector. We're the ones that are to be prepared to manifest, to usher, and to maintain. We are the ones that are that are being prepared to facilitate it, not create it. And a lot of us have problems with that facilitation because in that facilitation, all we've ever seen was how these other people have facilitated their rule because a righteous rule has not been seen. It's just not. So we are all being tested. We are all being a part of the manifestation, a part of the desire to usher in the kingdom come. Because, look, if we don't desire it, will it ever manifest? No. It's the same thing that's been going on. We never desired the kingdom. Matter of fact, when we were in our curses, we were hoping that the kingdom didn't come just yet because we still wanted to be part of the world. We wanted to have our cake and we wanted to eat it too because that's what we had been shown. But it never materialized for us. And those that it did materialize for who went all in on the system found that the goings were rough and tough, unless, of course, you're Clarence Thomas, you know, sitting on the Supreme Court forgetting who you are. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe he ain't us. Because they ain't every uh, all Israel ain't Israel, all Jacobians ain't Jacobians. That's what they got us going through now. They talking about oh we all African. Well, they don't even look like us. Come on, man. And the, and of course there's going to be some of our kingdom over there. Why? Because we were scattered all over the earth. That don't mean that we are from there. We are African, which isn't even the name of it. Because I mean that's given again by the Khazarian Indo-European. So we've been testing. We we have been in test mode. So have they, but they didn't realize they were in test mode because they were able to cheat. So, I mean, if you're cheating on the test and always, always getting an A, I mean, are you really learning anything? No. We had to learn. We had to really learn and study so that when we got to the test, we were prepared because our lives depended on it. Their lives didn't depend on it. Now that testing, that first initial testing phase has come. Now we're getting the grades. And the grades are showing differently now. Now all of a sudden we're catching A and they catch an F. And they're perplexed. Why? How? How come? I didn't have no slaves. That happened so long ago. You niggas ain't it, Israel. You guys always want to take somebody else's culture because there's an Israeli over there, which actually goes against Scripture. I mean, because at the end of the day, true a true Jacobiite would not know he's even Jacob, would not know. He would think that he's Esau. He would think that he's a Gentile. He wouldn't even know who his culture is, who his tribe is, his or her. He wouldn't even know anything. But when he hears who he is, he knows that it's true. That's why we got to woke we got to wake up first because we were able to wake up from the sound of hearing the call. Remember, for many are called, but few are chosen. So from the call, we were woke up to realize. Well, wait a minute, you know we we part of we part of Jacob. Now from there, right? From there, you know, there's twelve different groups of us. Funny how everybody want to be 
a Judean. Oh, you know, Christ came from there, and I'm a Judean. I'm from Judah. I'm from Judah. I was having this conversation earlier. Like, it's going to be funny when, because the Father said he ain't going to let nobody know until the end anyway. But when you get ready to come in the kingdom, he's going to be like, okay, you you Benjamin, you Manasseh, you Ephraim, you Judah, you Simeon. See what I'm saying? So right now we shouldn't even be seeking that. What we should be seeking is seek first the kingdom. So when we seek the kingdom first, one, we're seeking the Father because it's his kingdom. He reigns over the kingdom. So therefore we've got to figure out the kingdom. We've got to seek the Father. So when we seek the kingdom and seek the Father, then what happens is the Father shows us to his son, our master, our Messiah, Yahushua. Yahusha. Yahusha. Shows us there he is, you seeking me, I feel you, you good. You've been tested. You've been tried. Okay, I'm going to show you the way. And when he shows us the way, we see the master. We see the Messiah. Then we, through our actions of seeking, we pass the test. And then we pass the test just so that we can have the testimony, testimony, testament. The test, all the way to the end, all the way to the end. So, you know, again, here's the Christians. I'm saved. I've been saved. For, how, what? what? What are you saving yourself from? But you saved. Well, how, how, who, what, when, where, why, why, what, 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 saved? What does that mean? Because this is a person. This is an act of perseverance and endurance. <laughs> and patient, because we're living in a in a time period where we have so much patience in order for us to endure. Because these people out here are losing their mind; they're not privy to what we know. Now we get to see what the Father has shown us, has told us in our minds. So that then we can turn around and discuss it as a testimony because it's like um, we all got a testimony. That's what he's doing. He's testing us to make us obtain our testimony to ensure that our testimony is good, proper, order, and prepared so that we can go and explain to people what the truth is. So that the testament of the Father can be evident. The test, the testimony, and the testament. We become a testament. Father, we facilitate the Father's will. So we can't do it without the Master. We can't do it without the Messiah. The Messiah is the one who shows us how to do these things. He's the one who taught us how to pray, how to walk, how to talk within the will of the Father. That's why we don't, from a Jacobite, a Jacobite, many of us forget about the Master because when we think about who we were to who we are to where to who we will be we're looking at the kingdom we're forgetting that we have to get there we we got we got to get <laughs> that's like that's like um <laughs> that's like saying you know what shoot i'm going to canada i'll be in canada next week and, you know, you're telling your friend, and your friend goes, oh, really? Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, I'll be there next week. Well, how are you getting there? Well, I haven't gotten that far yet. I haven't figured that out yet. What? So you really ain't going then yet, huh? Well, I'm going. I just don't know how I'm getting there. So then, therefore, you are not prepared to go. So in our preparedness, we have to be ready. We And, and that's why that's why things have switched in terms of understanding, yes, 
we know that we have to have the awareness and the understanding and the anticipation of knowing the truth. We got to understand the history so as not to be trapped or ensnared in the abyss with the foolish nations, okay? We got to be able to step away from that. But in order to step away from it, we have to know what it is. So, yeah, we're going to have to know the history. We're going to have to maintain it, but we can't stay there. We have to move forward. This is an act of, again, endurance and perseverance and patience. We can't, we can't stand still and think that we're going to be saved. That sounds like some Christianity madness or some camp madness or, these, or some Khazarian Indo-European religious madness. They don't want us to do the things that we used to do before the Inquisition, before they brought down Judea, before they brought down the northern kingdom, Ephraim. You know, Israel. That's what I'm saying. Like, we have to realize a lot of people forget that there's two kingdoms. That's why this Africa madness is is so uh, easy to debunk. Because it's like, oh, well, no, the the northern kingdom's in Africa. What? The the, the Europeans, the Asians, the Khazarian, Indo-Europeans, along with The Hamites, the Africans, knew everybody that was in Africa. So so that logic doesn't even hold water. The northern kingdom was sent away in a land no man knew. I mean, this is... That's key. No man knew. Well, shoot, everybody in Africa. Come on, man. Oh, Africa's a big place. Come on, man. Where they at in the Sahara? Yeah, as a matter of fact, come on, man. The land of milk and honey is not the Sahara. Where would the land of milk and honey, milk and honey be if it's not in the three part? Of course, we know the answer to that is in the fourth part, the Americas. Not hard, not difficult. Now, if someone wants to come up with a logical, reasonable uh, uh, dissertation with receipts and proof and facts that Antarctica is where our people are. Maybe I entertain that. But I got to see that. I got to have more information on that. But right now what I do have more information on is the fourth part, the Americas, which, again, only makes sense. So we had to be the test, right? Well, where, you, you know, the rule and the law, covet. We can't be coveting other people's lands. Like, Okay, so if you're telling me that in Africa we, from Negro land specifically, Congo specifically, Niger specifically, Nigeria specifically, then maybe we can entertain a conversation. Because then the next question would be, well, okay, show me records of when, where they got us from. Like, I need to see that. So because I want to, the, the reason being is because now I want, I want my land. <laughs> I, want, I want my land. So, shoot, if you're telling me that we're from Nigeria, Ghana, Mali, Songhai, Morocco, Egypt, whatever, if, whatever in Africa you tell me from, I want my ownership. I want, I want a say in my ownership because I want my land. But, see, the only time that we were told that we were going to get land is here, 40 acres in the mule, because that's all I know. I don't know about this Africa thing. I see melanated brothers and sisters there, but I don't see none of them telling me that I don't see any of them saying I got records and proof and receipts that you're from here. I got your name, your family, what's your name? Okay, okay, I got, okay, this is where you're from. But see, I can find that information out over here through the, through the oral traditions of my people. So my dad's side, we Cherokee. Cherokee and and, and my my dad's great-grandmother is Cherokee. 
my dad's or not great my dad's grandparents which would be my great my dad's grandparents grandmother was Cherokee grandfather was Choctaw that's where his roots were my mom's uh side was uh my grandfather was Jamaican and my uh my grandfather's father was Jamaican my grandmother's on my mother's side people were uh mulatto mulattoes so they were they were here mixed through uh the Alabama area mixed through slavery so I don't see no Africa in that. Oh, your DNA. Listen, the Khazarian Indo-European has manipulated everything. That's why they muddied our scriptures. That's why it says, you know, let the write these books so that the wicked and uh, the the righteous and the unrighteous can read them. Save the rest for last. Everybody is reading this one book that they say is the in, infallible uh, word of God when, in fact, we know that they have, they have spoiled all of the scriptures. Through, I mean, just through transliteration alone, you know that there's things that have been changed. And the mere fact that we innately understand this is our test and our testimony. I mean, I got a I got a good strong testimony of where I've been to where I am. And I'm trying to turn that into a testament for the Father. By doing the right things, by thinking the right way. By being smart, not dumb. By anticipating, by being prepared. And my preparedness is different from the next brother's or the next sister's preparedness because our lives are all different. But the end result, all the same. What is that? The kingdom. So when we're out here doing our thing, you know, uh, earning a living, to maintain through our testing phase, we have to remember that. The end result is the kingdom. It has nothing to do with these nations. The nations are going to, what's what's going to happen is the nations are going to be judged. Some of them will be saved out of that judgment. When they get saved out of that judgment, they're going to be struggling. They're going to need somebody to tell them the truth. They're going to be a mass confusion. We see it now. You know, we see this now. We see them all on TikTok going, you know, uh, uh, we've been lied to. We see them on social media talking about they've been lied to. It's the funniest thing. The moment that they said, and this a couple of years ago, the moment that they came against the with the moment that they came against the truth. So 2019, the moment after that, when they start talking about, because right after that was 2020, as we know, these are numbers not hard to do, but in 2020, what transpired? Least we forget, lest we forget. Brothers and sisters started homeschooling. There was lots and lots of homeschooling, and it was our people that were homeschooling. We were no longer sending our kids to be indoctrinated through their systematic mental destruction, mental Olympics, mental circus. Okay, we we were we we no longer did that. The parents were teaching them information that they were not learning in school. Then they went back to school, and what happened? They went against the truth. They said, oh, well, we're not going to have CRT, critical race theory, taught in the schools because, again, this is a testament to them. This is their testament, right? Because their testament is what they are claiming as the truth. So this is what they're doing. They're creating a testament because they were test. See, and they want to shorten their testing period. It's like going to the SAT, sitting down, you know, you got, I think, two to three hours to take it or two hours or whatever to take it. I can't remember. And yet they want to condense it down to 30 minutes because they got someplace to go, something to do. 
And it's like, nah, man, you better take that full two hours and get this thing right. Because if you don't get this test right, then you won't have a testimony. Pardon me. You will have a testimony, but the testimony won't be good. What's well, not a good testimony? You know, I, I, I was given an opportunity to, to know the truth, to say the truth, to learn the truth, and I chose not to. I was given an opportunity to follow the, follow the way, to cleave, to understand, to gain more enlightenment, and I chose the matrix. And, and at that point, that's the father. The father's not going to judge you, be like, all right, again, this is Christian sanity madness. Uh, you're going to hell. No, you're going to convict yourself. You're going to convict yourself. That's this whole thing. It's like when you go, you know, the, as above, so below. When you're in trouble with the law, they look to try to convict you, and they try to get a conviction out of you, coerced, forced, or not. This is the game. So the judge isn't sitting there convicting you, or she is just giving you time, however much that time or no time will be. But you're self-convicting. You're, you, the, the, the fact the history, the actions, the thought process, the wordplay, the communication, that all convicts you because these are things you did. You did this. Not you, but you, you know, you, in general speaks. That's why when it, it's gonna, when it comes down to the end, I feel the way it's going to look is who has the lesser baggage. You know, you you, you know, you, you don't even want to carry on. You just want to have. Matter of fact, you don't want no baggage. No, you in the baggage that you do have, you want to have already checked them bags. You want to check them. So when you go up against uh, the TSA and you got to go through the little scanner and be scanned, shown worthy to get to the kingdom, to get to the plane, <laughs> the father's good with you. I ain't got no baggage. He's checked it. I ain't, I ain't good. good. Come on through. It's those, it's those people that are going to have five, all this baggage. They ain't checked nothing. They're creating a huff. They're creating a puff. They're slowing everything down, not not everyone, but everything down, and they won't they they won't accept accountability for what they're doing. And we see that now, even with the planes now getting on, people ain't even accepting responsibility for their actions. We see it on. We see it in every facet of this world system right now. And, yeah, it's going to change. We don't know what it's going to look like, but we, we desire it. And that's the key, the desire. The desire will usher in the kingdom. Human desire will usher in the kingdom. If you didn't want the kingdom to come, then the kingdom won't come. Simple as that. There would be no reason for it to come. The kingdom's coming to give salvation or rest or shalom to the people, but if the people don't want the kingdom, it's the same thing. They didn't want. They didn't want the the. They didn't want Yahusha. Yeah, 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 Yahusha. They didn't want him. They said, "Give me Barabbas. Give us Barabbas." So, you know, where we have to be tested in order to understand all things, so that we can understand. What the purification is, the purification isn't to be clean, you know, put your cocoa butter on, you know, take a couple showers, clean yourself, you know, have your hair done, you know, get a nice fade, you know. No, the purification is a thought. It's the purified thought. That's how, that's how you are tested, through your thoughts. That's why it's funny that they now are showing all types of the women's body, all types of the man's body, all over the place, all the time, 
it's fine. Everybody, you know, you can look at these Hollywood people, and they got to be half naked. You know, make a make a make a um, make a a spectacle of themselves. Be half naked, look crazy. You know, no 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 modesty, no humility. You know, humility. Instead of saying I, say the Father. Thank you, Father, for allowing me to be a superstar, to be your superstar. The more that we bring forth and manifest the Father, the more he comes and takes away this system. Because we're up against the system. It's like, it's like, it's so funny to me how people arguing over Trump, they arguing over Biden, they arguing over uh, DEW, whatever, laser, whatever, which is interesting to me because I was having this conversation. Sure. They want to give all credit to these backward fool to a foolish nation. You want to give all credit. Like these people got this weapon and they can destroy at what, listen to me. Well, we know that. We know it's specific and it's a, it's a weapon because, look, the trees are the, the trees didn't get destroyed. And look, and look, that house didn't get destroyed. Okay, all that's fair enough. But here's the deal. What did them trees do to the Father? Them trees ain't do nothing to the Father. It wasn't the trees' fault. Why the trees got to be judged for that judgment? Why can't he just be specifically pinpointing these people to get up off this land. Point later. I mean, that's the same thing that he did during Exodus. He said, put this, do this, and I won't destroy you. I won't take away your your first child. I won't destroy your world. So we don't know what these other... What the, we don't know what the people were doing in these homes that weren't destroyed. We know that the trees didn't do nothing. They they didn't you know curse God and and say burn. They just they just there. They just are existing. So why would the Father destroy them? We don't know what debaucherous debauchery was going on in these places under this system. In the dark. We don't know. But to give credit to man, a foolish nation, oh, well, they, they created this, uh, they've got these weapons and they can destroy this. The Father will not allow a foolish nation that he put over his creation to destroy his creation. And he said that if I don't come back soon, though, they would like to try to destroy my entire creation, destroy it all. They would like, they would put, they would have the thought, they would, be, they would create the inclination in their mind to destroy everything, and it's not theirs to destroy. So I got to come back early, put the word to them, and manifest my kingdom to come. It's not hard. It's just not hard. It's just not hard. It's just not. That's why we have to understand that we are being tested, that every day we wake up, we have to accept the testing that comes because there's no other way around it unless you want to go back into the matrix, and then you're still going to be tested, and you test. You may kick that can of testing down the road, but at some point it's all going to come on you. You're not going to be prepared. You're not going to have no oil. You're going to be assed out. Simple as that. You're going to be ass out. We've all been there. We've all gone through the education system of the Khazarian Indo-European, and we've gotten to the test, and we weren't prepared. And we failed it or got a C, got a, less grade, a low grade. We were low graded. But we, all, we also have been there where we were prepared for a test and we went there and aced it, felt good. That's where we at. Well, don't you want to feel good about the te- about, about acing the test? 
That's what this is about. The Father has allowed us to prepare for the test now. Before, we weren't even able to prepare. We didn't even know. We were just being tested of endurance. All right, let me see how much condition they are. You know, we're on the treadmill. He's just like, keep going, keep going, keep going. Some of us are falling out. I can't go no more. Done. Some of us are like, let me get my third, fourth, my 18th win. Let me just keep going. Test it. So we can have a testimony. So we can be a testament to the Father. To the Father's what? To the Father's love. His love. His mercy. His grace. That's what this is all about. Because you can't get in the kingdom upset. You can't get in the kingdom mad. You're going to be outside the kingdom mad. That's for all the madness, all those that are mad that ran around talking about, oh, you ain't, you niggas ain't nothing. Oh, oh, there ain't no God. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. And it's funny because there's a, there's a, there's a TV show um, that I was recently watching. It's uh, Twisted Metal, and it's a, uh, um, it's an adaptation from a video game, early 2000s video game, okay? And in it, excuse me, in it, it shows, it might as well be the kingdom, okay? This is this is how they are showing it. Might as well be because once you get through the gates, then you get everything. Everything is given to you. You're not working. You're not you're just, just in shalom. But outside, it's chaos. It's chaos, and that that's that's the problem that we're we're starting to see. But we can be saved out of it by understanding what it is that we are to do. Now, that brings me to tonight. We're going to read. Well, I'm going to read, but you can read with me. This is the Book of True Life, Volume Twelve, Teaching Three Forty Eight. This is love each other. Love each other. Love each other. And and this, and, and, you know, a lot of people, well, that's not scripture. It's a 66 books. It's, a, it's got to be the scripture. It's only, the, listen, when you hear this, apply all that you, all our scriptures that we know to this and see if it stands the test. <laughs> Again, everything can be tested. Teaching 348, love each other. People, I come to give you page after page of the book of my teaching so that you can take them, print it in your heart. These lessons will be tomorrow for you, an invaluable treasure that will help you perform your mission on earth and carve an award for your spirit. Through your struggle, this teaching will remain in the heart of humanity, and you will sing a song of triumph when you arrive in the promised land. Exactly. I, mean, I grant you that through your preparation, you take from my arcanum what you need to give to your brothers, because my chosen ones will come from different ways to become my disciples, peasants, soldiers, to defend my work. All creation is subject to my law, and everything in its harmony worships me. Raise your gaze to the sky, and you will see the luminous stars that my wisdom has created. See in them an example of obedience and harmony. Inspire yourselves in that greatness, in that perfection, so that you meditate and let my Father's voice speak through your consciousness. Trees bear their fruits that are always pleasant to your palate. Throughout, I manifest myself and I speak to you so that you may meditate and be obedient to the law that I have given you. Oh, but I thought the law was done away with. You have worshipped me in the stars and in objects made by the hand of man. Look for me now within yourselves. Blessed is he who penetrates into inner silence, because he will feel my presence and will achieve peace of mind. You have Receive my word through humble brains that have not been cultivated by the science of men, but I have prepared you to be the pedestal 
where my universal ray rests. Now, before I go on, the way this speaks, it's similar to the sealed portion. The way that it's speaking to the spirit is similar to the sealed portion. Six, when you listen to my word, you still want the Father to become visible before your material eyes. And I tell you, prepare your heart, and there you will feel me, because not only do I come to console you in this time of pain, but to bring you the teaching that I had promised you since I was with you, since I was with you in Messiah in the second era. My examples, my passions are written in your spirit. There is the book that I have written in three errors. There is the word of my envoys, the testimonies, the facts. Find everything if you learn to penetrate your spirit. In this ear, I speak to you from the top of the mountain, Mount Zion, where I wait for you. I come to give life to your spirit so that you rise to me. Feel my love and take my peace. Look for those who have been lost, the same in this world as in the spiritual valley. Blessed are you who have told me, Messiah, we, Messiah, we will follow your trail. Become the soldiers strong to defend this cause. Again, I show you the way where you will find the truth. I come to teach you so that you can give testimony of me to humanity so that you prepare with your example the coming generations, and they carry my love and feel my peace. Then you will have become the disciples who imitate my apostles of the second era. I will send some of you to different regions and nations to show the way to those who have been confused. But you will get up full of humanity being a clean example among the multitudes that I will entrust to you, you will be like torches in which is the light of the Holy Spirit. I am preparing my chosen ones with my word without contemplating their faults. I come to heal their spirits because I am the doctor's doctor. I lift them up and tell them, follow this path of truth that I pre present to you, and you will soon come to me. You are Israel, from whom I have called or from who I have called, called 144,000 who carry my divine seal, so that through you I may reach the salvation of mankind. Men, women, and children of different nations will seek me, and you, a chosen people, are the immediate. You are those donated by the Master, so that in your path the arid and desert lands become lands fertile. Parable. In a large area of land, there were a small number of inhabitants. They knew the time would come when they would that when they who would come to dwell in those lands, walkers from the four areas of the planet, of different races and colors. A humble young man taught them with words of truth, peace, light, and love. <clears throat> An old man saw and called for the crowds that would have arrived in that region. He guided them prepared them, and spoke to them about those privileged lands. The time came when the crowds came little by little, and then the young man said to the old man, what are you introducing me to? And the old man replied, here you have these crowds that I have prepared and that I have led here so that they become your disciples. Then the young man said to him, blessed are you. Keep looking in different roads and paths to the lost sheep as a luminous beacon illuminate the four areas of the earth bring in your shoulders to bring in your shoulders to the lost sheep that old man full of submission and obedience went on his, went on his way to gather and gather to gather and gather the great crowds then the young man went to the inhabitants of those lands and said i have come with my love to you to give you my teaching because you will be the mediators through whom the light of the Holy Spirit will illuminate the great crowds to come. Behold, I have prepared your table with the bread of eternal life, and with this same bread you will feed humanity. I mean, all this that I've already read is straight from the 66. Like, you can see it. This is how I come to speak to you, my children. Study the meaning of my teachings and understand who is the youth and who the old man. 
I am the one who come to teach you and prepare you for the ide- for the ideological struggle that is coming. The old man is Elijah, the good shepherd who gathers and gathers the sheep of my fold. People who have prayed for peace to be restored and pain to be alleviated, you will hear with joy the testimony of the voice of your brothers, and you will see the value of prayer. Today I let you hear my advice. Today, I let you hear my advice and warnings, because tomorrow you will need them. I ask you to be united so that you so that you be strong, and there is not a single vulnerable point in you, just as the father who sees his in near calls his children to accompany him at the last moment to give them his latest recommendation. So I speak to you, and I ask you, love each other and understand each other. Strengthen yourselves in virtue to form a single spirit that watches over and prays for the world. I leave you a great position, but I give you peace and strength. See, that's that's the deal. Through all of this, all of this testing, we gain peace and strength. There's always a reward for getting. See, the reward that was given to us back in the day, for passing a test was a passing grade or moving on to the next grade, next level, um, you know, getting an A, you know, going to have pizza because you got an A, you did, did well in your report cards, being told how great you are. Same thing here. I leave you a great position, but I give you peace and strength. You yourselves will not be able to judge your actions, but I, the judge, I will weigh your works. I will receive your fruits, and in the end, I will show you the results of all your efforts and effects. There you go. Testing. Blessed are you humble, those who recognize that a higher will governs your destiny. Let me read that again. Blessed are you humble, those who recognize that a higher will governs your destiny. Oh, it's about me. I know narcissism, right? I do this. I can do this. This is about me. I do No, when you are humble to realize that a higher will governs your destiny, then you're at peace. You You attribute it to my divinity, and you grant me the right to dispose of your life because you know that I always give you proof of my love to you, spiritualist people on whom I have set my gaze so that you awaken the world, so that it receives the light of my Holy Spirit. Humanity seeks me through religions, among which are those that in their practices teach spirituality. I have entrusted my work to you, and I have enlightened you so that you may be tireless cultivating my word in the heart of humanity, so that you may rise up with the banner of the law, and like a good soldier you defend with love the cause that I have trusted. My spirit is recreated recreated with the harvest of good peasants, but it also suffers when I contemplate that the peasant has slept. He has not been able to cultivate the shed that I have entrusted to him. He has not been able to cultivate the seed that I have entrusted to him. When you are draining the cup of pain, I listen to you in silence. In spirituality, I console you. Great is the number of those who have been born at this time to the life of grace within my work. And you, what you have been since the first, you must prepare yourself so that tomorrow, when you no longer hear my word through a speaker, do not feel your brother's orphans, your brother's orphans or disoriented. The book of my teaching is made up of the lessons that in this time I have dictated to you through human understanding. With this book that will come to recognize by humanity as the third testament. You will defend my divine cause. Humanity only recognizes the law of first error. What is written in the first and second testament, but the third will come to unify and correct what men have misunderstood for lack of preparation and understanding. That's all this is talking about. That's all this is talking about. See, and I'm going to pause there for a second. See, What we're dealing with now is spirituality. Dealing with before was materiality. We have become, we have, you know, 
we it's like Pink Floyd, right? We had become comfortably numb, okay? And now that we are no longer comfort, comfortably numb, now we are headed into the spiritual realm to work our ways through the test, to obtain the testimony third ear for the last time. For the last time. That's all this is about. Understanding the spirituality. Listen, we have not understood spirituality. Christianity has taken that away from us. Hinduism, Buddhism, all of that has taken spirituality away from the people. So it only makes sense. We have to gain understanding of that. It's like, oh, I'm spiritual. I know about Jesus. I I know about Paul and and the apostles. What? How are you treating people? Do you have patience? You know, I do, but, you know, these people crazy, and I don't like half of them, and I, I, you know, Trump, or, you know, I I don't like Trump. I like Biden. Well, wait. That's not spirit. That's materialistic. That's carnal. That's of the flesh. So what did what did Christianity do? It taught us the flesh. Never once taught us spirituality. That's what this is talking about. That's why it's important for us to read and make your own decision, because our free agency and our free will is back. We have never, 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 never. never been able to hold our own counsel. But the Father, in his greatness, in his majesticness, in his unfathomable wisdom, has allowed us to do so once again. And not just us, everybody. That's why they're getting caught up, because the spirit is coming in, coming and going, regardless or not. (laughs) You know? It it don't matter if they don't want it. The spirit's coming to them, and it's like self-convicting them. You mean these did you? You mean that these people that we call Indians aren't really Indians? You mean these niggas is really the Indians? You mean you mean these niggas ain't from Africa? You mean these niggas is straight up Israel? Well, who are those people over there? Oh, they're Israeli. They have the suffix ish on the back of their. And again, this ain't being mean or to them. This is just matter of fact. They cannot not not cannot not be the people because they know who they are. <laughs> It ain't even difficult. And maybe so. Maybe so they are the people of the convert. So be it. But they aren't the people who went through the test. They have yet to be tested. The father ain't looking for he he's trying to the father wants to wants to complete the finished product. He don't want the finished product before he before his time. That means it ain't fin- it, That means it's not his completion. That's not his product. That's your product. You're in, not in his will. Otherwise, if you were in his will, you would be doing and thinking the prop the proper way. You would be doing and thinking spiritually. And that's about loving each other, even the heathen, you know. Loving them doesn't mean you got to to be all up on them and, and, you know, have conversations. No, that just means you got to treat them the way you want to be treated. You know, if they fools, they fools. I mean, okay, you know what? Everything, there's a cause and effect, causality. There's a action and a reaction, right? So, you know, just like those those Bamas in Alabama, right? 
they came out and they wanted to turn around and they created commotion. So they brought that on themselves. So that action that they did, the reaction was justified. This is something that they have never, 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 never dealt with. The justification or the justif- justifying of the action. This is why it's all going, it's changing for them too fast. They don't know what's going on. That's why they're struggling. But I digress. Prepare, 27, prepare yourselves, beloved people, so that you may be able to watch over this treasure that I have entrusted to you. Blessed are those who know how to understand me in each manifestation through human understanding. Blessed are the families in which from the first to the last of their members are in my bosom. Spiritualist work, it will be the obedient family, the blessed seed that I will show humanity as an example. I have spoken to you of the life of the spirit of what you call the hereafter and of my divine greatness. And I tell you that in all these lessons there is no mystery because whoever is clean will have the privilege of seeing and understanding life of the hereafter. The spiritual world that is illuminated with the light of the Holy Spirit and its inhabitants who together form a bond of love. You will see the top of the mountain of which the the seers tell you. This is where the Father waits for all humanity. Again, top of Mount Zion. Nothing new under the sun. This ain't new. This is this is explaining to you the spiritual side of how things need to be now because the closer we get to his coming, we got to be spiritual. We can't be carnal and fleshly. It's like righteous vengeance. I want my pound of flesh. That's fleshly. I mean, it's in the saying. I want my pound of flesh. You know, I was having a conversation the other day, brother, good brother, and he was saying, you know, we haven't, there's no completion of the last year. Sure, the, we're not here to deal with the completion. That has nothing to do with us. We're here for the final test. We're not here worrying about whether someone else completed, whether the completion of everything from the last has happened. No, we already know that that has occurred. The completion, listen, he said, for many are called. He's, first he said, come up out of her. So you're not partakers of her place. That means that those that came about, which isn't going to be everybody, most people are going to be partakers of the plague. But those that come out of her are called. And out of them, there's a few. This is how this works. So, therefore, many are called. This is we we many of us have been called up out of this madness of this demonic debaucherous world. And because of that, change. So we've been called out of it. So that completed some things. Now, if you're waiting for everybody to be called out, that's not that's not biblical. That's not even our scriptures. We weren't even dealing with the all then. When these scriptures were being written, it was only for the few. So in order to even recognize this, these words, as the Messiahs, you have to be able to understand and accept that the Father is doing things all at once. He's not concerned himself with our linear timeline, well, you know, first got to go through A, then B, then C, then D. Oh, we got to go first, one, two, three. It, 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 yes, he has order, but his order is not our order. It's not our order. Yes, it is. Yes, it, uh, all right. I mean, so if you want to say that the Father is, see, that, that's in your will. You're saying by your will the Father has ordered the way you want it to be. It's got to be your way or the highway, not the Father's way. That's why, for me, I don't, I don't, I don't put that past our Father. He'll do whatever He wants to do, however way He wants to do it. Yeah, I know. You know, certain scriptures say that this is you know nothing new under the sun. That's right. He just re- reiterates things and. 
uh, regurgitates things and 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 that's all and when you do that uh what, what it, I had this teacher in college and her whole thing was um recollection that's what she would say recollection 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 recall 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 so if the father is doing the same thing over and over and over again he wants you to understand it he's testing you that's why the 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 nations are having a hard time because, again, like I said earlier, they never have been tested. They never had the care to be tested. They didn't care. I don't need to be tested. I'm clean. You know, that's like, that's like uh, you know, drinking 20 beers and then driving your car, and the police come up to you and go, have you been drinking? You go, no, nah, I ain't been drinking. Well, will you will you blow into this sobriety test? And they go, nah, I've been drinking. And the cop back in the day when they were in their place, like, I, you know, unless they were just crazy, hammered, right? So now we're being tested. We're being tested on the from the spiritual perspective, not the fleshly perspective anymore. That's what's that's what's difficult for people. We are spiritual lights. Not even that we are. Matter of fact, we are spiritual lights passing through. A little shout out. But that's what we are. And it's an order to. It's an it's a level order of how you obtain it. There are degrees. There's a hierarchy. And you now get to choose how and what hierarchy you will be in the kingdom to come by how you act today, how how much you utilize self-control of your spirit. But I digress. Thirty. My spiritual world works tirelessly and inspires and encourages you to penetrate spirituality. It helps you so that in your fulfillment you obtain more advance. You have long heard in my manifestations that the day will come when you have to be an imitation of your master to give the teaching to your brothers who do not know spirituality. The moment will arrive in which the light of the Holy Spirit will fully cover and illuminate you so that you can make my work my word given at this time, the light that will guide each spirit towards the divine mission. Live in accordance with what I have entrusted to you from your human life, for your human life. Feed yourselves with the fruit of the tree of life. See that under its branches you will find rest and shelter. Cultivate cultivate it yourselves, so yourself, yourselves, so that you can see that its branches and fruits multiply. The fountain will pour out its crystalline waters to quench the thirst of the pilgrims, of those who are crossing the desert, so that they feel strengthened. The desert, the pilgrim, the desert, the abyss, the Jacob's trouble. The wolf in sheep's clothing will stalk you on the roads, but you must watch and pray and be careful not to fall into abysses. For instance, you will feel that the rays of the inclement sun will... Now no, watch this, because this is awesome. This is what we see now. For instance, you will see, you will feel that the rays of the inclement sun will make themselves felt in your being. But I will make my spiritual world be like a protective mantle on your path. You will help me to form within this humanity a new world. Now, now, from a spiritual standpoint, that's what's happening. But also from a physical, that's what's happening. The sun is beating up people, some, and some not. You can't make this up. This is this is. This is all about us 
is his words to us at this time so that we may understand spirituality because we have been taught spirituality from a foolish nation. But, I mean, don't you want to learn? The, it's like <laughs> it's like learning from um, it's like learning from the teacher who has been doing it for fifty years, or learning from the grad student. We've been learning from a grad student who's been leading us all astray, teaching us astray. Well, now we get to learn from the master. I mean, out of out of all all of scripture, all we get is a few a few books with a few writings of the of the Messiah, but yet the Messiah is all is the beginning and the end, the Alpha and Omega. That's a foolish nation who compiled that. Who chose to give us what we gave. That's why you can't that's why we're dealing with our spirit. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get people to understand that this is a spiritual walk, brothers and sisters. This is an individual spiritual walk. As we are in spiritual warfare, straight up, straight down, penalties and high government places has been attacking us for eons. And we've, and, and we've been attacked because we didn't understand the spirit. Now we were spiritual. We were spiritual. We understood spirituality and as much as how to survive, to use it for survival mode, but we, didn't, we never were able to use it for success. And don't, don't, don't get it twisted. They didn't use it for success. They just got it by default. So they were never under any type of understanding of spirituality, hence why we're in this situation today with their foolish asses unable to reconcile, recon, repent, and, and even self-reflect, self-convict, self-correct. They can't even do that. And we know, I mean, it's difficult, but that ain't none of our business. There's the, there's your business, there's their business, the foolish nation's business, then there's the father's business. At this stage in the game, I'm trying to stick with my business and the father's business. I could give a rat's ass about their business. Their business has been shown. <laughs> their business has been shown time and time and time again over and over and over again to be full of lies, like like have no truth in them. And it's by design. They're fools. So we, if, we, if we consider their methods, modes, knowledge, then what does that make us? That's why I can't get with what everyone says to do. That's why I've always been a rogue in that. I've been a maverick in that, not even a rogue. I've just been a straight-up maverick. I was like, okay, okay, I hear you. I'm listening to what you're saying. Okay, now let me think about it. And the older I get, the more I'm going, well, I hear you. I accept what you're saying, but that doesn't take away from what I'm saying. That's not going to ch- – you're not going to sit here – and and try to sway me from what my foundation is. Now, we can have a similar foundation and we can build and grow together, but you're not going to try to break down my foundation so that you can put your foundation up. That's Gentile mindedness. That's a fool's mindedness. And uh, and <laughs> and and I know better, and I ain't a fool. But I'll entertain you because I'm going to treat you the way you treat me. The moment that you mistreat me is the moment that you get mistreated. This is just the nature of the time period that we're in, the balance that we're in. You are the disciples who are ready to fight tomorrow. You'll be strong, and you will know how to deliver how much I have entrusted in your hands for humanity. I, do, I don't want you to break the law. So 
Some of you have been surprised by darkness, and this has happened to you because you have not wanted to hear my voice as a shepherd who calls you with so much love. You have become familiar with my word, and you doubt that the master will, that the master will stop speaking to you through human understanding. And I tru- and truly I say to you, why do you interfere in my high judgments? I have marked the time for you, and it is not my will for you to tell me. Master, contemplate that the vicissitudes and wars fill the world with anxiety. It is a time of trial for humanity. And are you going from among us? Then, and now he's talking, and this, is, this is the disciples talking to him, but well, all this stuff's going on. This is us talking. All this stuff's going on. Why, where are you at? Why, where? Then your consciousness will respond to you and will make you recognize the vast time that I entrusted you with my word, more like a father and, a mas- and as a master. After 1950, as today, I will be listening to all your requests through your prayer. After my department, no, time out, 1950. Why is that? Why, why, what is that about? The 1950s, think about what was going on in the 1950s. This is when our people were spiritual. We were actually still, we were coming out, we were collective together. We were segregated. We were doing what the Father wanted us to do in, in a way in terms of community. Okay, we were helping one another, we were treating one another, because we, we, for the most part, 50 years before that, we were in the thick of Jim Crow. 50 years before that, uh, we were just coming out of Reconstruction and slavery. Because this is also the time, now remember this and peep this, this is also the time where the evangelical became big. Okay? 1850s, they were evangelized. The, 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 the European Christian church, Protestant, was evangelized. And, and, and what did that do? 20, uh, 30, 30 years later, almost yeah, 30, you know, 30 something years, almost 40 years later, what did they do? They switched the whole game up and made it prosperity gospel. So he was done with that. He didn't come to us through them, because they were going to make it big. It was going to become a Ringling Brothers circus. And you see where they brought it? They brought his word all the way to the mega church where, you know, Creflo Dollar and them dancing on the money. Give me, show me the money. It wasn't about, it wasn't about the master. It wasn't about Yeshua. It wasn't about Christ, the Messiah. It became about their God, their God, their God, the money. That's what he's talking about. That's what people in their mind, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. It's a third impression. Blah, 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 blah. Listen. Read it. Understand. Read it for understanding. Don't be mad at it. I mean, we were mad at the Bible. It's so funny. We were, we, we didn't care for the Bible. Then all of a sudden, we read that Bible. We ate that Bible. Eat this. We didn't even know nothing about the seal portion. Eat it. We didn't know nothing about the book of more. Eat it. The apocrypha, the pseudepigrapha, we didn't we didn't deal with it. But we ate it. Now this one's popping up, helping us understand the spirituality of things, and we don't want it. We don't want to acknowledge it. We think it's new. <laughs> oh god. After 1950, as today, I will be listening to all your requests through your prayer. After my departure, all of you will be equal to the fulfillment of my mandates. You you will develop your gifts, and through your conscience, I will speak to you so that you regenerate, and I will make you recognize with the light of my Holy Spirit the way true so that you do not fall into the abyss. And that what we've been doing, we, we had to deal with the Messiah because we were being evangelized to by a foolish nation. When the great multitudes come to you in search of comfort and my charity for their spirits, I will enlighten and inspire you to receive my word through you. I have entrusted you with my grace so that you may be recognized as the children of life. 
I purified you, beloved you. Uh, I have purified you. Time, I have entrusted great charges to your spirit so that you do merit, so that you testify, there's that word, test, testify the truth of my doctrine, doing good to humanity. Yeah, we're going to have to treat people right so that in the hereafter you take my peace and do not get lost in the darkness again, right? Ah, uh, you going to hell. You, you an Edomite. You this, you that. What? You in darkness, son. Come up out that closet. Stop hating. Just deal with people straightforward. It don't matter if they don't understand what you're talking about. It don't matter. It has nothing to do with you. That's their business and the father's business. You deal with your business and the father's business. Stop being all busybody, all up in everybody's business. That isn't for us to deal with. This ain't got nothing to do with us trying to save them. They have to save themselves. If I throw a life buoy, a buoy, if somebody's drowning, I throw a buoy to them and they don't grab it, whose who's problem is that? I have purified, uh, I've heard that. You say, Master, I did your will in the way, and here I am again. Wait a minute. So you don't get lost in the darkness again, that when your spirit arrives before me, you say to me, Master, I did your will in my way, and here I am. Here I am again, so that you entrust to my spirit orders and mandates in accordance with your divine mercy. If you spiritualize, your children will obey you and the crowds will respect you because they will contemplate that you are involved, you are the evolved spirits that carry the light of my Holy Spirit. And then those who have, who have parked contemplating your example, they will return to the path. They will shake your right hand and they will follow your steps. When they come to you, those who hunger for my truth, you will give them my words so that they may become meek lambs. At this time, evil will be bound in sheaves and thrown into the fire. I will do all these works, and you, Israel, will speak to the world of the time in which he is living and the why of all the events. That's what we're doing. I've entrusted you with my truth because great is my love to you. You are the depositories of the great revelations and prophecies. Very true. Through you, the law will be made known again to the new generations. Mm -hmm. That is why I have told you that you must be in preparation, because you have come to prepare the way so that tomorrow the new generations, not the idolaters, nor do the false prophets arise from among them that deceive mankind. All this you will have to reveal to the world, Israel, in this time when various ideologies have arisen. It will rise sect against sect. Religions will fight each other, and you too will be ignored. But being the children of light, and that was how. But being the children of light and of peace, you will tell them the truth exists in the content of the Third Testament. There is the testimony of the presence and the coming of the Messiah at this time. You will show humanity this book and bear witness to its fruit, to its truth, you, with your compliance with my law. But if you sleep, Israel. How much pain will there be, be then? Because the nations will be touched with my justice. Because he's going to judge the nations. They will not know how to look for the true God. And they will only be confused in the middle of their ideologies. Then that's what's happening. And they will want to make you recognize their false gods to confuse you. Is that not what's happened? And happening, live, live alert, my people. Because I have greatly entrusted my word to you so that you are not ignorant, because you know how to feel my presence, and I have taught you to recognize the essence of my word. After my departure, many will rise up, making you believe that I am still communicating because of their, their understanding, and that's the truth. I will manifest in those brains, I will not manifest in those brains, nor will my spirit world, because it will not take the human brain after 1952 because it will not take the human brain after 1950 to communicate with you. Only spiritually can you communicate with my spiritual world of life. Be obedient, children, so that you do not fall into an imposture, because there will be great events after my departure. 
but you will awaken those who sleep, and you will not fall back into idolatry. And the moment you rise in power, you will feel my strength, and you will receive the effluvium of my grace. So I will give you proof that you are not wrong. My gaze will always be attentive to you. I will never abandon you. My spirit will be close to you, contemplating you in your fight and defending yourselves from threats and dangers. Fulfill my law so that the man does not get in your way with its laws. If you please your father, you will be pleased with the world. You will feel the brotherhood of all, all your kind. That's what's happening. We're, we're trying to please the father, and we're feeling good about doing so, and therefore it's showing and the energy that we're putting forth pleasing the Father, we're starting to please each other properly. It is time for the world to recognize my light and not reject my envoys. You carry the power to separate beings in darkness from your brothers so that your fellow men do not snatch the thread of evidence. For a moment, I will let, you, I will let the world do its will, but later my will only in the universe. Watch and pray before the pain that human humanity hastens because the years have passed and the time has surpassed you and the, and the time has surprised you. I have shown you the path through which you must travel, and I have given you all that you have of necessity because I have watched over your spirit. To him I have fed, with, I have fed him with the bread of eternal life, and I have awakened him of his dreams so that he recognizes his mission, feels his, his responsibility within my work. Great has been materialism and misunderstanding, and for this reason, beloved disciples, you have parked yourself in routine without letting your spirits evolve. At every moment, at every moment, I have made you recognize with a word of love what you have not practiced to to make known to humanity the work that I have entrusted to you. And if you have not prepared yourself, how is humanity to achieve my peace by your conduit, my light, and my love? Is it you to whom I have entrusted the mission that you go to always to spread my teachings? I I have revealed to you the greatness of which your spirit is to bear. I have told you, who without having done merit, out of love and with my grace, I have chosen you. I have anointed you. I have taught you so that you be the apostles who show the world my teaching engraved in your heart. Time has passed, and you still have not made any merit. You have to extend your arm to lift them that have fallen. You must show the light of noon to your brothers who are in darkness so that they recognize that in all times I have manifested myself among you and in humanity. In the first year, I freed you from the slavery of Pharaoh through Moses, whom I placed at the head of my people to guide him from the promised land to the land of Canaan. In the second year, Messiah, the divine master, gave you proofs of my essence present, but the man in his selfishness and materialism, he ignored me. At this time, you are again the slaves, not of Pharaoh, but of temptation, because she has given you the riches, pleasures, and power to subdue you, and many of you have fallen and strayed from the path of light, because you have been weak. I have not set, I have not set aside grace. You have retained it. You have retained it with your lack of compliance with my law. But the world in its incomprehension has not realized this, and they are giving their brothers a work that they themselves have forged. How serious is the error in which the former have fallen, and how serious is the error in which you too are fallen? Because you have not meditated that that it is only one God who has spoken to you, and that therefore you have not received different teachings or different law. Only one God has always appeared before you. I have never abandoned you. I have always found myself close to your heart. Yahusha, in the second ear, manifested my divine love, and as master gave you the example of obedience to the law, taught you to pray, and showed you the way. All praises. All praises. In this third ear, my divine will is fulfilled. Because you have received my teaching, the bread of eternal life to your spirit. I have announced to you that after the night after that after the year nineteen fifty, you will no longer listen to my word through human understanding, and only through the evolution of your spirit will you communicate with me from spirit to spirit. That's what's happening. That's how come we were awakened in twenty nineteen. We weren't awakened through somebody telling us, we were awakened through the spirit. 
All of this has been spiritualized. Even when they gave us crack cocaine, spiritualized, they deadened our spirit. After 1950, again, they evangelized. They brought in their own doctrine. So we couldn't hear it from them. Everything they were trying to teach us didn't make sense. It wasn't us. It wasn't for us. We knew something was wrong. After 1950, we were were, uh, integrated. That's why this whole thing has, has changed. That's what he's saying. I have announced to you that after the year 1950, you would no longer listen to my word through human understanding, and only through the evolution of your spirit will you communicate with me from spirit to spirit. I entrusted to you these last three years of my communication through the spokesman so that you would meditate and understand your responsibility, so that you could get out of your routine and let your spirit take steps forward. But many of you have lain asleep and find yourselves lacking in understanding and elevation. Why, Israel, have you not dedicated yourselves to the study and analysis of the vast teachings that I have given you? The blind have not beheld even the light. You have not known how to heal the paralyzed so that they follow me. And the crowds are confused and wonder if they will have faith, if they will have found the true path. Many of you have believed to be complying with my law, and you are in serious error because only the bad example is showing to your brother. You are the cause of men to be confused and continue to feed idolatry and search through the different human ideas to be the true God. You will remain. And I'm a I'm a um, I'm a I'm a I'm a Muslim. I'm a I'm a atheist. I'm a you know. You will remain beloved people at the end of my communication as an orphan, more as in the second era. After my departure, you will understand me. After you no longer listen to my word, you will know what I have taught you a lot, but your awakening will be late. Therefore, your awakening will be late. Let me go back and get some oil. I understand, but I need to get some more experience and then get some more wisdom. It's too late. Therefore, people... With great pain in my heart as a father, I demand your lack of fulfillment and obedience. I I do not want that tomorrow humanity will contemplate you as the people ungrateful to my divine grace. And many, without having listened to me like you, will believe in my message and will love me. I have pointed out your errors so that you understand that you are not showing my work in the light of truth, so that you regenerate and manifest to the world what you have received from me. You have believed, Israel, that because he is a loving father, he would not claim your faults and that he would cover you with my mantle to make you known to the world as the true disciples, soldiers, and teachers of tomorrow. If so, Israel, I may, I myself would deny you my love because when the moment came, you would not know how to bear witness to my truth with your words and deeds, and then tomorrow's humanity would deny my manifestation because perfection it has never mixed with your imperfections. Wow. I have told you that you are in the time of the struggle of love against hatred, of my light against darkness, of humility against pride, and tomorrow. When it is your awakening, you will feel in your heart infinite and deep sadness to understand the time you have wasted, and then you will recognize the mission of the spokesperson who knew to prepare to give you my truth. My peace be with you. I mean, all that is exactly what's happening. This book is no joke. It's not some, you know, heathen copy or heathen forgery. It don't talk about them in a way that it benefits them. It's talking to you. It's talking to me. It's talking to our nation. It's giving us the understanding. And shoot, you just read, you, I just read it. You just heard it. If you don't understand it, okay. Just not meant for you to understand it. This is, again, for the few. Because we got a long way to go and a short time to get there. And if we want to continue down the road with the foolish nations, you cannot be upset at your consequence of folly. You can't. We are now at the precipice of the fundamental 
change comes manifest. We've gone through it all. We we've gone from the sixty six to the eighty to the esoteric to the uh, astrology to the astronomy to the um, to to the Apocrypha, to the Pseudepigrapha, to the Book of Mormon, to the Seal Portion, to the, the, the Book of Great, uh, the Pearl of Great Wisdom, to um, the Kabbalah, to the Zohar, uh, now to the Third Testament. And now all of a sudden everybody, no, I, none of that stuff is about 66. Well, you're not understanding the spiritual because the 66 is the overview. The overview. You think that the heathens going to give you the fullness of the gospel, be fooled, Israel, Jacob, because you're not quite, because we are not Israel yet. We have to finish the mission to be Israel. Then we have to be able to be given the degree to be an Israelite. So Jacobian, Brothers and sisters, be at peace. Our redemption is here. But we got to know and understand our spirituality. We have to accept it and we got to take it on and we've got to show it now. We have to show. We have to do it so that people see it. We can't be cutting throats out there. We can't be chopping them down. That's not our business. Our business is to show the Father through us, like it or not, because you too will be judged based on your own merit and your own actions. So choose wisely. You want to be, you know, you want to repeat the grade because you were dealing with the fools, or do you want to rise on? All praises to the God, to the Elohim of Abram, Isaac, and Jacob to our nation, may we get it together and be the people we're to be individually and collectively to the foolish nations. Time to wake up. Take the pillow from your head and put a book in it. Ain't nobody doing this but you. If you don't believe, so be it. For the love of our families and the times that we're in, may we find peace. Shalom.